So in this section, I'm going to add a few unit tests to the app. Because we are using Redux for state management, we want to mock the Redux store. So the package we want to introduce is Redux mock store. So what I'm going to do first off is install that. So yarn add Redux dash mock dash store like so. And that's installing. And we also want to have the types for Redux mock store as well because we are using TypeScript. So I'm going to add this as a dev dependency as well. So yarn add dash capital D and then paste in the types for the Redux mock store. So you can use both your own reducer as the store or you can mock a store with Redux mock store. So I will be doing both. So if I go into my app.test here, and I want to render the app and I want to check if the link element is in the document. This is now not the case. So what I want to check for is the text of created by in the document. So I just copy this and I'm just going to name this created by. And then the text is going to be created by. And now if I save and run yarn test, we can now see here that the test has failed. If I scroll up, it says here, could not find React Redux context value. Please ensure the component is wrapped in a provider. So because it's only the app, if we go into the app on here, this will be wrapped and it's using state along with the Redux store. So if I go into here, essentially what I want to do is almost mimic this here. So if I copy this across, and go into my app.test.tsx and I want to render the app surrounding with the Redux store. I don't need the header, so I will remove that. And I want to control space and import the theme provider and the global style. And then I also want to have the provider wrap from React Redux. If I was to bring this down a little bit and now save, we now need to pass in a store to our provider and we also need to import the theme, which I will do from our lib folder. So now for this, I'm going to create a dog store using Redux mock store. So dog store is the render. So what I need to do is create an initial state. So const init state, and I'm just going to copy what I have across. So essentially the initial state of the store is going to be the same as our actual Redux store. As you can see here, the breed is all, the subbreed is all, the number is one, and the image results is zero, along with the errors as false. So now I want to mock a store. So const mock store is equal to, and I'm going to get the configure store method from Redux mock store. So configure store like so, and I'm going to import this. So if I bring this in from Redux mock store at the top, so now we have the configure store. And what I now need to do is create the dog store. So const dog store is equal to the mock store. And in the mock store, I'm now going to pass the initial state in here. So now the dog store is now being passed into our provider. So now if I save, the text is now failing. But as you can see, the component is now rendering, but it's saying no dogs are found because we haven't fetched any data. So what I need to do now here is simply copy no dogs found. And we need to expect that in the document. So if I now save, this test will now pass. So all I now need to do is renders app component component without any data, like so. And now if I save and update the test, so that test should be fine and should be working correctly. I also want to change the created by, so that will now be no dogs found. So no dogs found or oh, now save, that test should pass. So if I close this one off, I also want to add a test for the button. So if I go into button and create a new folder in here named underscore tests like so, and in here, I'm going to create a new file named button.test.tsx because we will be rendering JSX in here. First of all, I'm going to have a describe block. So describe, and this is going to be button renders correctly using Redux mock store and then comma, and we're going to have a callback. And I'm going to also import describe. And in here, I'm going to render a test. So this first test will be 
button renders correctly in here and then we are going to render a test within here so if i save and enter a few times i'm going to have some props which are going to be functions in the describe block so they are going to be jest.fn so set images prop and a set is loading prop which are the props being passed down in this component as you can see here so space this out a little bit and then tab this across so in the test i want to bring in the initial state so const initial state is the same as what we have already got on the initial state of the app load and then again as we have done with the app we want to create a mock store and configure that so if i import the configure store from redux mock store and paste that in i also want to import jest style components and react testing library and jest dom so so before i want to do anything i want to clear all the actions for the mock store so that will be dog store and then with the mock store so with redux mock store there are methods on here so what i want to do before every render i want to clear all the actions so first off i want to do that and then i want to render my component so i'm just going to bring that in copy my render block paste that in and i also want to import everything from the relevant sections the theme provider the button component so now that is everything rendering here and then the theme is going to be brought from our lib folder so now if i save i now need to import render from testing library react like so and now if i save if i look at my error it says here cannot find module gestyle components so i now need to install gestyle components so if i go in and copy this control c and then yarn add gestyle components like so and then yarn test but it's, it will run the tests for me and you can now see we have two pass tests what this is doing is essentially rendering the component so what i now need to do is we're not actually testing for anything so i now need to screen dot debug the button and i now also need to import this from testing library react and save and if i scroll up this is what is being returned when we render the component so we have two buttons here the reset and the search docs button so we want to essentially test for them so first thing i want to do is i want to test the reset button so const reset button is equal to screen dot get all by roll because there are two buttons with the same row and then this is going to be get all by roll of the button and we want to access the second button which is the number one index on the array so what i want to do now is expect reset button to be in the document first of all dot to be in the document like so so if i now save this test should now pass which it has done so now we are seeing the reset button in the document so i'm just going to rename this test to reset button works correctly so now what i'm going to do just above the reset button is create an expected dispatch here so when we mimic a dispatch so we want this to be called so expected dispatch which is equal to an object that has a type so when we press the reset button we want to have the action type so we import that from the reducer and the dot so we want to dispatch the reset action on here so if i hover over this it's saying the value is not used so we need to use that now so if i bring in the dispatch after the expect here so we essentially want to dispatch the action so dog store dot dispatch is going to be the expected dispatch and what i want to do is essentially change the state to this here so if i go on to dog store again and then dot and then we want to get the state and if i hover over get state it's of type unknown so i'm just going to get the state and then now i want to expect the dog store to equal the initial state that we pass here so what i also want to do is the initial state here is going to be a breed of african and then the image result is going to be one so then when we press the reset we want to reset it to this state here so now that we've dispatched the action all we now need to do is test to see if the store dispatch the expected action so the way we do that is we declare a const a variable so const actions is equal to dog store dot get action and then we want to expect the actions dot to equal an array containing an object so 
this will take in a type so we're going to pass in the type of action reset like so and if I save we now have the test passing and we are expecting the action type of reset I also want to do another test in here which checks for another action so it shouldn't equal this action so expect actions dot not to equal the type of action type dot and i'm just going to say breed and then we're going to have a payload for this one and then the payload is going to be the string of african which is the type of breed so if i now save the tests are now passing if i was to remove the not and save we now have a fail because the type of set breed is not there but reset breed state is there which is this one so i'm just going to put dot not back in there so that is the way to use redux mock store to render your store and then when we render the store we now have access to methods that we can call from redux mock store and we are not using our own redux app store so underneath all of this i'm going to create a new test in a new describe block and this time we are not going to be using the redux mock store we're going to be using our own redux store so this test will say button renders correctly without redux mock store and i also want to Add in here after each after each method we want to clean up after each test sorry and that is imported from react testing library so now if i save i want to create a test block so add the test block in there and this test block shows buttons work and are styled correctly and then in this block we want to render it out so first off i'm going to declare an initial state my own initial state and then once we have declared the initial state, we want to get access to our props. So we want to define these. So again, set images prop and set is loading prop is equal to jest.fn. And then I want to have two actions in there. First action is going to be expected search. And then the second action is going to be the expected reset. And we are importing the types from our reducer like so and the same here for our reset action and now all i want to do is render the block so if i just import and bring in my render so this time instead of mocking a new store i'm going to import the store from my reducer like so so i'm importing my app store and now i want to render my app and the test i want to test for is search button works correctly and redux is connected so if i do first of all screen.debug and now save we are getting three passes but i want to check that i'm getting the right component being rendered which i am doing so first off i want to get access to the search button so const search button is equal to screen dot get all by role and this will be the button of the first index so that will be zero in this case and then what i want to do is i want to expect that the search button should be in the document so to be in the document like so now if i save this test should now pass which it has done i'm also going to remove the screen.debug here i also want to add a test in here so expect search button to have text content and that text content is going to be case insensitive so it's going to contain search dogs so if i save that test should also pass which it has done if i was to spelling typo and save this test would now fail as you can imagine it has done here so search dogs whereas we received search dogs so if i add the a back in there I also want to test the styling and the background styling for the search button. So if I expect search button to have style, so the style will be loaded in there because we have wrapped it with the theme provider and the global style. So we should expect this pink style to pull through. So if I to have the background color and I'm going to pass in white, and this should fail because the background color is the pink. And the handy tool is if I don't want to inspect this, I just would pass in a random color and then it would say here, this is the color that I was expecting. So now I can just copy this across and paste that in here and save. And then now the test should pass, which it has done. And then I also want to test the color. So I'm just going to copy this, paste this in underneath. And instead of background color, just the color, this should then be returning the white so the test is failing 
I'm getting the correct RGB color and then I just pass that in here. So if I save, the search button is working correctly. So now I want to simulate a click for the search button. So if I do user event and I want to import the user event from testing library user event. So if I go to the top and it is here, testing library user event, and then I want to simulate a click on this one. So dot click and the element that I want to click is the search button. So now that will trigger a re-render. So now what I want to expect is the app. I'm going to import this from the reducers. And in here, I'm going to pass in the initial state. So what it was previously, which we have defined up here. So init state. And then the action that is going to be dispatched. So in this case for the search, it's going to be the expected search. And then I'm going to check it should equal dot to equal the object. So in the expected search, the action here will be African. So essentially the payload for the breed will be changing. So I need to copy the initial state. So the initial state is empty. And now I want to pass in African like so. So if I now save the new initial state or the new state will be African like so. And the test has passed. If I was to delete a character and save again, it should fail, which it has done. And it tells you here that we should pass in the I is which is what we expected. So I and now save. So that is the search button working correctly. All we now need to do is do the same for the reset button. So if I copy this and essentially do the same again, but in this case, it's going to be the reset button. So all I need to do is select all of these and rename them to reset button. And then this time we want to access the second index of the buttons. And in here, if I now save, this test should now fail. And as you can see here, first off, it has checked here and the test is failing because the text content content is incorrect. So if we change this to reset search and now save, we should now get the background color failing because it's not the pink color. The color they expected is transparent. So I'm just going to paste that in here. And then the next one to fail will be the color itself. So essentially what color I need is the RGB here. So if I copy that and paste that in here and now save, we are getting the test passing. But what I want to do is pass in the expected reset instead this time, like so. And then the reset will change and update the state to this payload here. So if I just copy this and then paste this in here, like so. So initially the state was empty. So if I delete this, what will happen is test will now fail and it will fall over at the breed state. So if I scroll up, as you can see here, breeds should be all. So if I add all in here and save, we now have the test passing. So to summarize with the Redux mock store, essentially what you can do is you can configure a store from Redux mock store and mock it with some sort of initial state on there. And then when you have declared your variable as whatever it may be, so in my case, it's the dog store, then you have methods that you could call upon. You also need to wrap your render with a provider. And the only difference is whether you want to pass in your Redux store in your app or your mock store from Redux mock store. Then with Redux mock store, you can test for certain cases like this one where we could get the actions and dispatch the actions. If you was to not use the Redux mock store, then it's simple again. We just wrap our app in the provider using our actual Redux store that we create in our reducers file. From there, we can then add our jest tests in to test whether the test is in the document or the certain element is in the document and so on. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon.